Alright, so today we're going to be talking about dating apps. Uh, we're going to be talking about the emulators to use, what not to use, how to verify with Face ID, um, what type of pro Alright, so I do see a lot of people using Dolphin, Lollicat, and Incognition for their browsers. And this automatically is a red flag to the dating apps because when you use a PC emulator, it means you're making the dating app on a PC device. If you make the app on a PC device, it's going to give you automatically a lower trust score. So what I would recommend is using Android Studio, right? This is going to be an Android emulator, exactly what it sounds like, a one-to-one -one of an Android phone on your computer. This is what all the software engineers use when they're testing out apps or softwares that, that are used on phones, right? So once you download this, you can download it for um, Windows or Mac, right? Once you download this, you're going to want to come to this screen and go to More Actions, go to Virtual Device Manager. And then you're going to open up here, go to Create Device, and then I always use the Pixel 4. Next, you can do Tasumi, I'm not sure how to say it, or R. I personally use R. Go to Next, you can name it right here. And then Show Advanced Settings. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the camera is set to Front, Emulated, and then Back, Virtual Scene. Okay, so now you have your emulator set up. You're gonna to get to a thing like this, and then you just launch it. And to launch it, you just press the little play button. So now we launched it, now we need to finish setting it up on the phone, okay? So the first thing is the KPIs with dating apps. You can either download the KPI with the dating app and then drag and drop it onto the phone and it'll download immediately. You can watch a different YouTube video on that if you're not sure how to do it. If you don't, if you can't figure out how to do it, you can always just download the apps from the Play Store. So once you have your dating app set up on the phone, what you're going to want to do is add the proxy, the camera photo that you're going to use to verify the dating app, and then um, set the geolocation. So let's get into that. So the first thing is going to be location. There's normally a map here. You can drag and drop. I'm not sure why it's not showing up. If it doesn't show up, I would recommend just exiting out of the app or the emulator and opening it back up. So for this example, I'm going to set it in Miami, Florida. So now the location is set in Miami, Florida, and the next thing we're going to want to do is connect the proxy. So once you're in here, you can go ahead and select the proxy, type in all the information, host name, port number, login, password, click apply, it'll either say success or no proxy. The last thing you're going to want to do is the camera. This camera is going to be how you verify the dating apps once you're inside of them. Okay. So now you have all the basic stuff set up. You have your proxy, you have everything set up. Now you wanna just go ahead and create the dating app. So I'm not gonna create any dating apps right on this video, but I'll show you guys what, where to find the proxies and um, how to verify the face ID. So I'm gonna do the face ID first, and then we can do, what's it called? So the photo I added is this photo, right? It's gonna be on the wall. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is this software is actually really cool because you can move around. Okay, all right, yeah, I don't know why it wasn't working, but basically, yeah, if you can see this, you can move around. This is going to be your virtual camera and you're just gonna to wanna to go right up to the photo you wanna take a picture of, position it correctly, right? And you can go up and down up and down, right? So just position it correctly. And then just take a photo of that. And then it should be your model holding up her hand, putting it over her face, whatever the action is, right? So that's how you verify the face ID once you're inside the app. I've done this time and time again. I know for a fact it works. So now let's get to proxies. This is the most important part of the entire thing. Um, and it literally comes down to you finding the right proxy. So what everyone seems to do is what they'll do is they will go to, so first of all, the type of proxy you want to use with this emulator is going to be a rotating 
4G proxy. So what people would do is they would go rotating 4G proxies, right? And that would make sense. You're searching for a 4G proxy. But this is where everyone goes wrong because if you use any of these, you're using the same proxies that thousands and thousands, if not millions of other people are using. So what I recommend is go to a site called Black Hat World. Guarantee you've heard of it. If you haven't spent a lot of time on it, you should spend more time here because all of your questions and issues, they're in here. They're just hidden away. You have to find them. Um, yeah, so what you're gonna wanna do is just type in 4G rotating proxies. I already typed it in. Go down, don't pick anything from the first three pages or the last three pages. That's where everyone's searching. So go somewhere in the middle. And most of these people will let you test out their proxies for about an hour to three hours to see if you want to continue using their service. So what I recommend is just testing out a couple proxies. Make sure it's a 4G rotating proxy. If it's not, it will not work. It might work, but that's, that's what I've had all my luck with. So after you do some testing and you find a proxy that works, now you're gonna wanna go and set up the dating app. So to set up the dating app, where I see a lot of people go wrong is they try to spam through it, they try to go really fast. What I recommend is getting an Excel spreadsheet, putting at the top every component or every single variable that can change, right? So that's everything from the photos, the proxy, um, how long it took to create the account, um, what did you put in the bios, everything. Put it all into the Excel spreadsheet so you have a visual representation of each test. If you're just trying to keep it all up here, it's gonna get scattered, it's gonna get messy, and you're gonna forget. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and create your dating apps, right? So when you're creating the dating apps, take your time, make them real slow, and then don't add anything to the bio yet. Um, you can change around the, the metadata on the photos, but to start, what I would recommend is just using fresh photos. When you pick your photos, don't pick any photos that show ass or anything like that, no lingerie. Pick photos that blend in with the platform, right? Pick stuff that people would see and they wouldn't think, oh, that's an OnlyFans girl. All right, so once you create your account and it's live and you start getting likes, you're gonna wanna let that account sit for about three days. I'd say two to three days. Um, if you let them sit for longer, that's great, but you got time, you got time, you don't have time to burn, you need to get this done quickly. So three days. So once you let these accounts sit for three days, you're, want, you're gonna wanna take your Instagram username and at the same time, let's say your Instagram username is x11. With all of the accounts you just created, and when you create the accounts on the 4G proxy, I recommend creating four to five. I've done up to eight, but if you create more than eight, and one gets banned um, because they detect it, it's um, too many on one proxy, they all get banned. So just play it safe, only create like four to five accounts per proxy. And yeah, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is after you create the accounts and you let them sit, now we're gonna do strategy number one, which is just adding it to the bio. So let's say your username is x11. You'll wanna pick all of the accounts that you have live and then go ahead and type in something. Don't say Instagram, don't say Insta, don't say DM, don't put the at symbol, don't say message me, don't say anything that's gonna set off these red flags for these dating apps. What you wanna do is you wanna blend in your Instagram name with the bio. So make the bio a little bit long. I would recommend like not five words long with one of them being your Instagram username. Just have it blend in real nicely. So you're gonna to wanna to add your Instagram bio, to, I mean your Instagram username to all the bios at the same time. And then once all of these accounts get banned, change your Instagram username because the username is now blacklisted. If you try to add that back, Instagram is gonna recognize that that's a username and it's gonna ban the account immediately, right? So, yeah, so you're gonna to wanna to add them all at the same time and then don't do that much swiping. Swipe like a couple times on a couple people 
and then swipe left on a couple people. Be very delicate with it, especially with Tinder and Bumble. If you're using Hilly, HUD, um, what are the other ones? Badoo, any of these, you can swipe, just spam it. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, Cupid, you can spam all of these. But the ones that matter the most are Tinder and Bumble because they have the best security. So there's two different strategies. You can either do the adding it to the bio, which will get you banned quicker, but is more effective, or you can do the VA strategy, where you're gonna sit down and you're gonna have a VA, go in, swipe on about 10 people, don't swipe on the dudes with six packs or Lamborghinis or whatever. Swipe on the dudes that look down bad. And then have your VA message them and um, sort of convert them over to Snapchat or Instagram or wherever you're sending them. And then as soon as they add you, unmatch with them so they can't report your account right and I know a lot of this is just common knowledge but I see a lot of people messing up on it and then yeah that's that's sort of basically it that's the the basic premise of the emulator uh, if you guys want me to go in more depth with anything just feel free to let me know I'll make another video if you guys got any value click subscribe click like click comment and uh, I hope you all have a blessed day.